experiences, how it goes, and I'm going to give you some tips so when it happens, you can succeed. Hopefully, the end goal is that the coach offers you before he leaves the building. Yo, what's good YouTube, man? It's your boy, I'll be the prodigy, and today I'm back with a brand new video. I'm gonna be telling you what it's like when a college coach comes to visit you, trying to recruit you, trying to meet you, trying to talk to you, all that jazz. Whether you a football player, baseball player, basketball player, soccer player, whatever you play, it's all the same, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you my experiences, how it goes, and I'm going to give you some tips so when it happens, you can succeed. Hopefully, the end goal is that the coach offers you before he leaves the building. That is your number one goal, to get that offer before they leave the building. So without further ado, man, let's get to the video. Now, most of you watching this video know my story. I'm a former Division I football player. In a span of two months, I got between 10 to 15 scholarship offers alone. So I definitely mastered this whole process and started to become really good at it. Now, this is what it was like a day in the life when a coach would come to visit me. Most of the time, they wouldn't even tell me they're coming. So I ain't gonna, I ain't, hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, man. You will feel like a boss. You know, you're sitting in algebra two, you know what I'm saying, with your feet kicked up on your phone. You hear the phone ring. Can you please send such and such to the main office? And you know, typically when that happens, everybody's like, ooh, you in trouble. But if you're an athlete, most people know, okay, you know, you know what time it is. And when you're walking down the hallway, to your respective principal's office. My, uh, like not my principal, but my dean was the head football coach. So they would send me to the dean's office, right? So it's so exciting. I can't even, I can't even fake it. You're walking to the dean's office and in your mind, you're just thinking like, what coach is it today? What coach is it today? Especially when you don't know. That is the most exciting part. Like I will never forget. I walked in and I turned the corner and I seen a black jacket with black and gold letters. So my first thought was, I thought it was UCF. I was like, man. I said, bro, if UCF is here right now, I'm geek, you know what I'm saying? Because UCF, one, they're good. Two, they're in Florida. Three, they're in Florida. You know what I'm saying? So I was geeked. They ended up not being UCF. I'm not even gonna fake it, but that's neither here nor there. So typically when you walk and get to whoever you're trying to go see, he's gonna be in the room with your coach talking to him. You knock on the door, they both get up, coach opens the door, you know, he introduces you. He's like the, the wingman in this, you know what I'm saying? You know, when, you, when you're trying to get with a girl or if you're trying to get with a dude, you need a wingman. Your head coach is typically supposed to be your wingman. So you end up meeting each other, you know what I'm saying? Typically they look you up and down like you a piece of meat, you know what I'm saying? Check your build, check your size and everything. And nine times out of 10, after you sit down maybe for about two minutes, your head coach will leave and it'll just be you one-on-one -on -one with a coach now most people will get nervous and i can understand that because if it's nick saban sitting in front of you you're probably gonna get nervous but first they're gonna ask you a basic couple of questions you know what I'm saying what are your grades like first of all do you love football do you love working out you know what do you expect out of college what do you want to be when you grow up a lot of basic type questions, almost like an interview, you know what I'm saying? Almost like a job interview. They trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like. They ask you, do you like hard work? Like, what are you supposed to say? You know what I'm saying? But they ask you a lot of questions like that. And then they start to tell you about their school. You know, they start to pitch you, tell you a conference they plan, you know, the facilities and things like that. Like I said, I have a video on the most awkward presentation, I think it's titled, I've ever gotten. I'll put that up here if you want to go check that out. But that's basically what it's about. They ask you a bunch of questions, then eventually they talk about X's and O's. You know, they ask you, what do you think your biggest strengths are, your biggest, biggest weaknesses are? You know, and they kind of give you feedback on what they think of your game, how you can improve. But here is the biggest thing about when you are talking to a college coach. You have to interview them. Don't just let them interview you. Like I said, this is a 40-year decision, not a four-year decision. You have to interview them right back. Ask some questions you want to know because if you sign your name on that dotted line with this guy and you know nothing about this school, about this coach, you're going to regret it. You got to talk back to them. You know what I'm saying? You got to interview them. I'm telling you right now, 
ask, ask them questions. First of all, to make you look more engaged, which would be more appealing to them. And you can see where these coaches are coming from. You gotta be able to read people. You know if they lying to you, if they BSing you, you'll know. You gotta ask some questions back. That's one of the biggest things that people don't do. They just say, yes, sir. No, sir. I would love to play for your school in the abyss. And they don't even know where it's at. You can't do that. You have to ask some questions back. You have to take it seriously. Like it's a legit job interview, bro. You go to a job interview, you're not just gonna sit there and listen to everything they say. You're gonna ask them, uh, how much am I getting paid? Uh, what are my hours? You know what I'm saying? You're gonna ask them questions. It should be the same thing here. You should ask them anything that comes to your mind. Cause you may not never, you may not ever meet this dude again. I'm telling you right now, you may never meet him again. First impressions are the most important impression. You might never meet this guy again. So that is my, my biggest tip in itself is to make sure you ask questions, okay? And you have to be prepared, bro. He's gonna study how you articulate yourself, how you handle yourself, you know what I'm saying? How you present yourself in a, in a setting as important as this one. So be, be prepared, you know what I'm saying? Don't play around, don't joke around, and just be true to yourself. Don't fake it, because you will get exposed if you fake it. Any question he asks you, just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Some coaches, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've met some coaches and I've really been cool with them. I've met some coaches I could relate to. I've met some coaches that I didn't like, that I wanted to get away from me. I've met some coaches that talk too much, that I don't I don't vibe with, I don't like, and that's gonna happen. Sometimes you're gonna have to sit there with a coach for an hour, and you know you're not going to that school. You're not clicking with this coach. You just have to sit there. It's crazy. But hopefully at the end of all of this, you know, they tell you, you know, we like you, da 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 and we can see you doing this, this, and this here with us for this, this, and this amount of time, et cetera, and we're going to offer you. If you get that offer, you know, that means you checked off all the boxes, and you, you succeeded. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like, like I said, really picking a school is almost like dating life. You know what I'm saying? You see a girl, you try to put the G down, boom, 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 you try to get the phone number. Coaches are really trying to do the same thing. They're trying to woo you over. They're trying to win you over. You know what I'm saying? So you have to realize that, that everything they say may not be 100% true. You know, don't believe everything that you hear. You got to be smart up here. You got to understand that this is a business and they are trying to win you over. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what to expect when uh, you meet a college coach, when they come to visit you. It's not that bad. You know, you shouldn't be nervous. It's just like talking to any other dude. You know what I'm saying? Just be yourself. Make sure you ask him questions, answer his questions properly, and you gotta be honest. And if it's a fit for you, then hopefully they'll offer you after it's all said and done. But uh, make sure you smash the like button, man, if you enjoyed this video. Leave me in the comment section what videos you wanna see next. Make sure you check out my college sports advice playlist. I'm trying to help everybody. You, your brother, your sister, your mama, everybody. I'm trying to help all y'all go D1, man, and chase your dreams, but it's your boy, IB, and I'm out. Hey, Shawty know I kill people, real people From the trenches where it's real lethal, so real riggles Big body with your real boy, ill boy Nigga need to find his chill boy, yeah